Welcome to the seventh part of Spring Boot with Kubernetes tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn how to dockerize a Spring Boot application. There are several ways from which we can create a Docker image from a Spring Boot application. Uh, we can create a Docker file by taking a base uh, Java image and then add the fat jar and then create a Docker image from it. Another approach would be to use a multi-stage Docker file with layering support. And uh, Spring Boot Maven or Gradle plugin, they also already provides a capability to create a Docker image uh, with build pack support. And Google has uh, this chip Maven and Gradle plugin, which you can use to create a Docker image also. So, if, uh, let us take a look at this simple Docker file where we take uh, Eclipse Temurin 17 JRE Focal as the base image and then we are adding the uh, Spring Boot fat jar into the image and then finally we are using Java minus jar to start the application. So we can use this and then create a Docker image from it using Docker build command. And then there is another approach using multi-stage uh, Docker file. Where this is the first stage where we are taking this uh, same Eclipse Temurin uh, 17 JRE Focal as the builder. And then we are adding the fat jar file into the image and then we are extracting uh, layers from the jar file. And then there is a second phase, uh, second stage where we are adding um, application dependencies, Spring Boot Loader, uh, snapshot dependencies and finally our application code and starting the uh, application. So the advantage with this multi-stage layered approach is uh, usually uh, application dependencies doesn't change uh, quite frequently. right? So that's why when we add this uh, dependent, uh, dependencies and then uh, Spring Boot Loader and snapshot dependencies, uh, usually these change very rarely and our application code change uh, quite frequently. So when we are building the Docker image using this uh, multi-stage build, uh, the layers uh, forming these uh, instructions, they are cached so that whenever our uh, code change and then we try to rebuild the image, only this layer is going to be rebuilt and then uh, start the application. So compared to this approach, multi-stage layered approach would be much faster to build. Okay. Uh, Uh, when we generate the application, it's already added this uh, Spring Boot Maven plugin and it is capable of uh, creating a Docker image and uh, they have already taken care of few optimizations. So uh, I would recommend instead of using our own Docker file uh, either with uh, fat jar or a multi uh, stage layered approach, uh, we can use um, Spring Boot Maven plugin to generate this uh, Docker image. So let us see how we can generate a Docker image using Spring Boot Maven plugin. Okay. So what we can do, we can run this command of uh, mvn wrapper and Spring Boot uh, build image. This is the Maven goal we need to use uh, to create a Docker image. And then we have, um, we are passing the custom image name. If you don't specify any custom image name, it's going to be the image name is going to be library slash um, project artifact ID. But instead of library, I want to use my Docker Hub username. So I am passing this custom uh, command line argument minus d spring hyphen boot dot build hyphen image dot image name and the name I want to give. Okay. So with this command, it is going to uh, run the application tests and then uh, it is going to generate a Docker image using build pack support. So here we can see uh, it is created with this Docker image name. By default, it is uh, binding to Docker Hub registry. And this is the image name that we gave. Because we did not specify any tag, uh, it is going to generate with the latest tag. Okay. So, um, so if you take a look at the command, uh, we are specifying the image name using this command line argument. But if you are uh, going to use the same name, instead of specifying every time through command line, you can also specify directly within this uh, uh, Maven plugin configuration. Here you can specify name, image, 
and the image we can use name and give the same docker image name we want to give okay so with this configuration you don't have to uh, specify this flag uh, command line argument you can simply run spring hyphen boot colon build image so it's going to build the uh, docker image just with the name we specified over here okay so this is the approach we can follow for uh, creating a docker image using Spring Boot Maven plugin. Uh, similar approach is also available if you are using Gradle also. Okay. So once the uh, Docker image is created, you can run using Docker run minus p. Here we are binding the port uh, from host 8080 into container 8080 and giving the image name here. Okay. So uh, we can use this Docker run command and then start our application. So the application is started now we can see whether we are able to access the api or not so here i make accessing localhost 8080 api slash bookmarks now i can see the results so the application is working fine let us uh, take a look at how we can use a zip plugin okay so here we can see in google container tools uh, user we have this zip repository here we can see this is a uh, plugin for containerizing your java application so it has maven plugin gradle plugin and uh, there are some good tutorials also you can go through and here if you take a look at uh, this is the maven plugin we can use there are a lot of configurations options also so let us uh, add the zip Maven plugin. Okay. So here I am adding this chip Maven plugin, and here I am specifying what is my base image, and I can specify what is the image name I want to give, and I also I can specify uh, one or more tags, and we have the option to specify what port we want to expose from the container. So here. Uh, to uh, generate the docker image with a different name i am giving bookmarker api zip okay once this plugin is added what we can do we can run this maven goal of mvnw uh, zip colon build okay and uh, you can run this uh, command which is going to uh, create a docker image with this given name So here you can see uh, a image is created with this name and also push to a docker hub because when we use this uh, zip colon build it is not using docker daemon it is going to create a docker uh, image and then automatically push to a repository that whatever you are uh, configured already okay by default it is going to push to docker image uh, docker hub okay but instead suppose if you want to just build the image locally but you don't want to push uh, what you can do you can use docker build command but this requires uh, you to install docker in your local server local machine wherever you are running this command okay but earlier command zip colon uh, build doesn't need to have docker installed on your local laptop you can also customize the image name uh, via a command line argument uh, you can specify maven wrapper build minus t image equals to siva dasad id slash bookmarker hyphen api hyphen chip custom name okay so you can pass a custom image name uh, most likely you can uh, specify a default name that you would like to uh, create and if required you can um, customize the name via this flag minus t image equals to whatever the name you want to give okay here you can see the image is created with the given custom image name so let us uh, run using same uh, with this new image name okay awesome. 
So the application is started. Now let us try to access the API endpoint and see. So we are getting the response. It is working fine. Okay. So uh, that that's how we can create a a Docker image from our Spring Boot application. There are various ways and depending on your requirement and uh, flexibility you need, you can go for any of these approaches. Okay, so uh, that's it for this video. In the next video, we are going to set up um, CI continuous integration using uh, GitHub Actions. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for upcoming videos. Bye-bye.